welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five main reasons why I love journaling so much. But first, what is journaling? In the past this was a way of documenting events but for me it's just a way of taking whatever is in my head at the time and committing it to paper. So it might be me writing about my day or a particular moment in time but equally I might be writing this script for this video or notes on my novel or my non-fiction project or just doing some workings out for my business. It's whatever is weighing on my mind that I need to just get down on paper. So this script, for example, was dancing around in my head at 7.30 a.m. this morning. So I just thought, right, where's my journal? Let's get this thing written down and then I can focus on something else. There aren't any rules when it comes to journaling. Just buy yourself a notebook that you're comfortable writing in and start writing. There are lots of reasons why I like to journal. There are five in particular that I think are the main ones for me. Number one, a journal is a way of recording ideas so you don't forget about them. Ever since I started taking writing seriously 13 years ago, it was drilled into me to carry a notebook around at all times to write down ideas, snippets of dialogue, chapters, scenes, lots of different things that just occur to you when you're out and about. I may have, for example, essays start writing themselves in my head or blog posts start writing themselves in my head or even Instagram captions. Yes, we carry our phones everywhere with us and this has a note function and I've often pulled that out and verbally started dictating into it whilst I'm on a dog walk. But if I'm able, I'd much prefer to write my ideas down with pen and paper. Number two, it makes you a better writer. I've spoken on a video about how writing daily Instagram captions made me a better writer and helped me find my writing voice. Well, a journal does the same thing. Writing is a muscle. The more you do it, the better it gets. At schools, they advocate reading to improve your vocabulary. Well, writing works the same way in terms of structuring sentences, developing your imagery, working on pace. These things will all start to come more naturally to you the more you write. And writing a journal is an excellent way of doing that. Number three, writing down ideas helps grow more ideas. I used to worry about running out of ideas. For the first few months of this year, I've been in a creative rut as I've forgotten to journal my ideas. I felt silly writing some of the more ambitious ones down that they'll never happen, that I was a dreamer for wanting these things to happen. But then one night in my bedtime journal, the one I have by the side of my bed, I started to draw some of the things I'd like to have in my business. And since that drawing, the ideas have just kept coming. Be honest, write down your dreams and desires then start figuring out, through writing, how you're going to achieve them. Number four. A journal enables me to let go of things that are bothering me. I commit these thoughts to paper, often thinking this is never going to work. And a few hours later, 
I realise I'm not thinking about this anymore. It's not an immediate thing, but a subtle change. In the past, if something bothered me, it would move around and around my head like a washing machine of anxious or negative thoughts. And because I work from home and because I'm on my own a lot, these things have no outlet. These negative thoughts in my head have no outlet until I started writing. So when I had my, my son, when he was very young, I had a difficult time of it. And it was only once I started writing, I started writing a novel, I started writing a blog and chatting to people online that I had, well, it was like something pierced, the negative thoughts spilling around. They were just coming out of my head like a balloon that had been gently popped and things just started to evaporate. The pressure in my head was released and I started to get better. Number five, it helps me figure out who I am. And this can mean in a really deep and meaningful way or more often it's in a way that helps me understand why I'm doing certain things, particularly with my writing. So I learn from my mistakes, I move forward, move on and recognise my weakness and work around them. So for example, I know through journaling that I procrastinate when I'm scared. Lots of things terrify me in this creative world, but I'm now recognising when that happens. And it's because of journaling. I write my journal and I work it all out in there. I hope you enjoyed this video all about my journaling and why I enjoy journaling. If you are a bit scared of starting your own journal, my advice to you is not to worry about what it looks like, not to worry if your handwriting is neat or not, but just, just write it. And I know for many people, writing that first page can be really difficult. The blank page is very scary. You don't want to wreck the journal, but I love wrecking a journal. I love scribbling things out. I love writing the wrong word and crossing it out and putting the next one in. It doesn't have to be a neat and tidy kind of bullet journal, the very arty ones that you see online. I think these are beautiful myself and I would love to create one, but if you're not that way inclined, you don't have to do it that way. You can just write. You can just write lists of things. You, you can do whatever you want, whatever feels right for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do click on that subscribe button and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week for another video. Bye for now. Bye.